Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if I'll make this one. It'll be close. Damn it! No! I gotta restart the game again! Oh! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, crap. Um, so yeah, remember all that progress I made and then lost it? Yeah, there's, there's another one. Okay. And I died again. I don't even want to make this video anymore. 100 days in Subnautica Below Zero Hardcore and with mods is finally here. Though I should say I am sorry for the wait on this one. Hardcore in itself was no joke, but adding it to a game like Subnautica and with mods was quite the task in itself. That said, it went from good to bad real quick with me dying the first few times. Trying out the new flying sea truck upgrade as I soared through the skies, stealing some more penglings from the adult penglings, and cutting it really close as I explored the arctic spires once more. I did use a few mods during this playthrough, though with Subnautica Below Zero there wasn't as much compared to the first game. BT Dubs, if you enjoyed this type of video, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what game you were excited for that's coming out soon. So without further ado, I spent 100 days in Subnautica Below Zero Hardcore and here's what happened. My first day in and I skipped the intro to the game because by now determination ran through me and dying was not an option. Possibly a bit of frustration mixed in there as well. Though today is when I became a speedrunner. Not really, but I did decide to skip or cut some more parts out because at this point in my game, I died five times within five and a half hours of footage gone. As you could see, we were well equipped and on our way to scanning for what would become the base structure for our new home. Finished with our scans and everything else looted, it was time to find a new location. The cave and crystals could wait. Storing away a few things in the life pot, I needed to make sure that we had everything possible before we got started. I also wanted to pick up the garden scans for the exterior grow beds that killed me last time. Without a doubt in my mind, there they were. Without wasting any more time here, I found myself close to the island with Margaret again. I made sure not to take too long making the trek up the mountainside. If there was one thing I absolutely loved about this game, it was Margaret. She definitely had the best role and my favorite part in Subnautica Below Zero. Finished now and all that was needed was a quick scan for more building blocks to her base. Following with day three, I needed to pick a spot and without giving it much thought, I made the worst call for what place I wanted. Turns out the spot I picked wasn't that bad. What was bad was me forgetting the materials needed to build the large room itself. I continued to the Mercury ship, finding more resources and parts around the seafloor. Finishing up our builds, we had just enough to finally get started. Gathering myself now, we started the builds, first with the large room and then a hatch to get inside. What could have been another close call, I was smart enough to have resources on hand for the bioreactor. My plan was to have some lockers built inside, this time the ones made from quartz. I even managed to get a fabricator going so we didn't need to swim back and forth to the other life pod. But with the next day here, the new challenge for me was finding the rebreather and the upgraded O2 tank so I didn't have to spend 15 minutes out of the 20 going for air every time. Here we go, here's something, here's something, what is it? Rebreather, perfect. Give me, other, give me my other thing, thank you. Oh, there it is, perfect! Oh, hello, hello, How, <laughs> how's it going? Cool, okay, there we go. Lead was next on my list. I didn't want to lose power again, and they allowed for me to build a foundation. The reason for the foundations was to make some grow beds and to get plants or ribbons growing for more power. Do that, and then we do... That should be good, right? That should be good. Yeah, it's good. It's good, good, good. Okay, we have a bit of power left on this thing. With any leftovers from planting down ribbons, I did have plenty to store inside our bioreactor. Looking through and seeing what I wanted to build next. Continuing my process of elimination, I needed more crops to plant. So farming was made easier for me. That meant some creep vine and seed clusters to join the party. With everything at the ready, I started building another grow bed, placing down the farmed faunas collected to sit and then be cut down later. I'm actually just going to do one and two. Like, I'm going to do just... Yeah, I'm not gonna like overboard with that. Not right now. Can't forget the new name to my base. This is, what was it called before? New Castle. New New Castle, all right. Something that went completely unnoticed was my water and food levels. I didn't think twice of them and needed to get my energy back up. Go look for those oxygen bladder fish. Oh, bladder fish. Wait, I didn't realize they were here too. Cool. 
Racing back home, I could see it now. My ribbons and creep vine fully flourished. Picking up what I could for storage, but also cutting down a bunch to replant and then back inside for more power usage. Another thing that dawned on me is why have one bioreactor when I could build more? On top of more power, we went on to building the new O2 tank and a nice rebreather to pair it with. Uh, rebreather O2 tank, beautiful and beautiful. The next day I needed more materials for what was to come. Collecting an abundance of titanium to lithium around what would help me progress at a quicker pace. Man, just off of one battery, we have a uh, full inventory there. I will say I wasn't too happy with what the air bladder gave as 15 seconds of air for me wasn't enough time and just took up space. Replenish oxygen. Ooh. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay, so it says 15 seconds of oxygen. That is, that's terrible. If it was more, maybe 30, I'd be like, okay, that might be all right. But honestly, not that great. I thought it'd actually be better than that, huh? Back to gathering more resources, but this time with copper and lead, or at least what I could find. Something I was really in need of though, was that darn vehicle mobile bay. All right, mobile vehicle bay. Oh, nope, but a sea glide. Actually, I don't need to scan that. Never mind. Oh, what's this? What is this? What is, what are you? You, oh, okay, hold on. I gotta scan that first and then this one. I think I already have this too, laser cutter. <gasps> this might be it, this might be it. This is it, this is definitely it, cool, all right. On top of having enough for the bay, I also started putting together the sea truck. Had the materials and seemed like the next best thing to do. Uh, oh, I was gonna scan for it, then we got it. That's right, that's right, that's right, okay. God, do I need food, I, I do need food. But hold on, wait a minute, we gonna eat. Oh, hello, hello, hi. Hey. Perfect place to do it. Float, float, float. Oh, you won. Besides from the laser cutter we had, I still needed more diamonds. And now with the sea truck, I could do just that. We gotta find some diamonds, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna repair this. We can't even scan, okay? We just need a few pieces of diamond. Like that. Okay, okay, this is good. This is real good. This is real, real good. Oh my God. We're going up, we're going up, 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 up. So while back at base, we started putting our batteries to charge, making sure to store away any of the diamonds we collected and the glass we picked up from our life pod. Things were looking up. This next little bit honestly had me confused and pretty irritated early on. Building the sea truck and using it was fine, but for some weird reason, it wouldn't let me add the depth module for deeper explorations in the vast ocean. Yes, we can. Cool. Okay, we can go to deeper depths now, which is... Uh... Wait, is it 300? I hope it's 300. Wait, it didn't go in. Did I just drop it? Hold on. Oh, okay, thank you. Wait, is it 300 now? Uh, what? Why does it still say 150? What? Did I, I made the MK depth module. C truck depths. This thing is so buggy sometimes, man. Oh, see, things like this is kind of annoying. I even tried leaving the game only to come back and see that this time the depth module was completely gone. It disappeared. All right. Yeah, the sea truck is not happening, guys. I'm sorry. Figured my next best chance was the modification station. Though for now, I figured I'd give it a bit of a break. No need to drive myself insane so soon. With that said and done, the next thing I planned on building was the control room. Oh, I'm building a scanner room. God, wrong one. I don't know why it just <laughs> didn't click. Okay. There we go, right one this time. And we so confuse it. We're gonna do purple. Purple this time, and then stripe is gonna be something to make it like kind of pop, I guess. Like Rave Pandas HQ. I like that. That's a cool name. Let's go get rid of this. Uh... Oh, I kind of like the purple. Holy crap, that's really nice. Next, we made sure to check on the grow bed. Filling up the rest of the ribbons into the bioreactors, I started to feel a little cramped? Claustrophobic, if you will. Oh, wait, it just. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not like that. No, no, no. Look at this, guys. So this one is going to be of other thing. Taking my search outside the base today, I started looking for more titanium, even salvage pieces if need be. While back at home, those few things I found outside led to me crafting aerogel, which in turn gave me the ability to finally craft a water filtration system. Oh, you better believe it. This could potentially eat up a lot of power, but if we just have one going, I don't think it'd be too bad. I even set up a little snack corner for the breaks I took. Haha, <laughs> the sweet scent of a dirty bean water. <laughs> That's gross. 
Oh, we did. Oh, we have music. We haven't been using our music at all. Hold on. All right. Got to move these because I don't know why they were giving me problems. All right. Let's go see what music. I think we only have the one CD thing right now. Divide. I think that's what it was. Another mod I had running during my playthrough allowed for pets to be summoned and then keep them inside my base. I want a nice little pangling. Let's put one in here. Hi. Look at you. Beckon? What does that mean? Don't eat me, okay? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I don't like that. You're cute until you open that dang mouth. Holy crap, that thing is terrifying. I wanted to start my search for more prawn suit part. Seeing that my sea truck was stuck or broken at 150 depth, I needed something else, something more. That meant for me to travel into the dig site. Oh, it's red. Once we found the garden, we'll know where we are, I think. The only way I knew of getting into the site was finding the gardens and with some dumb luck, that's just what we found. Not before hitting a few fishes, of course. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I was looking at my map. Oh, buddy. Why'd you go in front of me like that? Having trouble finding the place, I needed to get more hands on swimming around with my sea glide and using the map to my advantage. This was the first time I actually used the map, by the way. With our sea truck being close to the location, I parked the sub and ventured forth with nothing but the sea glide itself. Something I should mention, if I haven't yet, is that this sea glide you see right now is modded into a super sea glide. Super glide, if you will. And honestly, it was such a blast to use. At least I can go this far, right? I mean, this is, I guess, something. Barely. You just reach it there. Oh, we can get that thermal thing too. Oh, no, 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 not that. Uh, and now we also have the prawn Sue. Thank you. I've made my way back to base in the only fashion I knew how. And slow down. Oops. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, that's like a rush every time. Jeez. You can't look. You just have to like pray you go up and then just come down and not hit anything or get caught. Set up a quick vending machine while back at home, picking up a few bags of chips and eating copious amounts of sodium. Yum! The next thing I started on was gathering the required materials for our new prawn suit. Picked up a storage module and began the build. Oh, we have this too. Very good. Oh, cool. Okay, prawn suit. Let's craft this baby. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Let's do equip. So storage, storage back here. Nice, that's a big storage, I like that. Something I was in need of now were those spiral clippings. Just gotta watch that power, that thing runs out quickly. I'm also not fighting that shrimp dude, okay? Yep, see, that's the one I don't wanna fight, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna go down this way. All right, let me let me just get into this thing. I need to get those clippings. All right, we're about to be born again. Whoops, you. All right, how big are they? Oh, they're just ones, nice. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, you can't see my face! I didn't know it was trying to get me! Oh, shiznick! Oh, I don't like that. Oh, man. I'm going back. Wait, well, hold on, where is back? That way. Go, 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 my heart racing by this point from what just happened, there was no way I was handling anything else right now. A new day out and about, I wound up finding more of those floating eye creatures. Whoa. There's an eye thing there. Oh, that one's moving all creepy like. I don't like that. Sitting around the twisting bridge biome, we started gathering some basic ores, keeping them in storage for later use. It didn't stop there though, because I also wanted some magnetite back at the Arctic Spire's caves. I may have found it. I, I'm not entirely sure. This looks like another place. Let's see what do you got today. Oh, here we go. More magnetite, beautiful. And more Magda Tart. Yes. I'm down to clown if you are. All right, hold on. Actually, not anymore. We're good. We got more than enough Magda Tart. Let's head back. <laughs> the hard part was now over. Swimming back and headed home. Taking all the magnetite, silver, and copper we had now into the locker. We also fed that hungry stomach of ours and decided on making the scanner room. It was a great day. Perfect. Okay. Oh, this thing is going to use power too. Just realized. Um, now we can actually scan for a lot of cool things here. At this point, I was still trying to figure out what was going on with the scanner room scans. Something I was on the search for became the upgraded O2 ultra capacity tank. That and the grapple arm. 
I wanted to take my breathing ventures further underwater and search the area for more fragments. Shark boy here just wouldn't leave me alone. You wanna fight? First, buddy. Oh, I got him. Dead. Dead in the water. Get out of here. Grabbing some food and water to refill my energy, I started building a power cell charger for the prawn suit and sea truck. Though I did still need that moon pool. Did a bit of searching for quartz, finding myself in need of more lockers. Today was more of me just going from biome to biome as I gathered many resources. I even found Margaret's place and forgot I still had the voice audio on mute. Hey, it's Marge. Oh yeah, I, I may have muted that. Ooh, the music though, that hits hard. My favorite thing about the scanner room was how versatile it was and easy to search for whatever I needed. From finding lithium by the Godzillas or with rubies near the lily pad island. Even nickel ore was littered all over the place. Oh, I'm surprised how many nickel ore pieces there are in this location. I'm going to see if I can try making that MK now. The MK2 for the sea truck, see if it works with that one. Because the MK1 just disappears forever. If it happens with the MK2, I'm going to break this sea truck and make a new one. Now, are you ready for more breathable O2? Because, let me tell you, I was. Dude, my <laughs> upgraded oxygen tank? Oh my god. What is it at now? One, one, oh, 180. I think it was like 135, 145 or something. The only thing I did today was seeing if the MK2 depth module worked inside the sea truck. Oh, I hope this works. Okay, so we have MK equipped. This thing is just messed up, man. This thing, and it doesn't even come out. It's just, it, the seed's gone. Like, why? I don't know if it's all of them, but you're you're gonna die. I don't care. Let's watch you explode. Let's have a little fun with it. Go ahead, break. Come on. You're so close. Just break. Woo, there we go. Okay, did you, uh, drop anything else? No? Great. On day 19, I did something a lot more dangerous. Yes, it was looking for those lead outcrops, but where I went and had to go had me scared for my life. God, these are just crazy right now. I'm going for it. This one, this one, go! Okay, 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 okay. Diamonds was next on my list as my lockers felt emptier than before. The problem with that though is I wanted to get it done quickly and without the use of our prawn suit. Oh no 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 not those. Ooh, cool, okay. I guess I'll take this too. Ooh, give me that. Thank you. I'm leaving. Bye. I know you're chasing me. I hope I mean I hope not, but hey, if you are, bye. A big thing I still never did was continuing the story and finding Alan. So that's what we did. Turning on the voice audio and finding our best friend, Alan. Let's go get me some Alan now, guys. After like, I don't even know how many days again it is. I've had to like restart five and a half times almost now. Five times for sure. Half time was close. Close call. I'm coming, Alan. Wait for me, buddy. What is all this? Don't go into the light. He's gonna attack us. Watch out! Ah, no! Ah. Oh, thanks, Alan. Thanks for allowing me, buddy. Okay, that was loud. That's even louder! Oh my god! Oh, I didn't know I could move my head while she's talking. Ooh, hey, I can see inside myself. It's you and I versus the world now, buddy. I should have did this a long time ago. Of course, as we arrived back at base, Alan started calling us. Oh, now he's calling me. Cool. Okay. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. A new thing I noticed as well, this flight upgrade for the sea truck. The hardest thing, honestly, is finding the ion power cells, or at least the recipe for the power cell and the battery. I think that's the Arctic Spire, though. God, that is going to be a pain in the butt. Probably my favorite mod and something I put the most amount of miles into was my sea glide. Well, the super sea glide or super glide. It got us from point A to point B in record timing and so much more easier than anything else. Whoa, where does this go? Oh, this is the other wire. Okay. Uh, I think it's this way. Oh, the little snow, snow thingies give it bubbles. Cool. 
I didn't know that. We're here. Look at us. We made it. Uh, finally made it. All right, gonna steal a penguin, baby. Don't mind me. I didn't do anything. What? You saw nothing. Uh, oh wait, this might be the stalker area. Can I steal some fur off of you? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Do they follow me? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man. What's this? <gasps> Snow fox, no fox, baby. Let's go. Well, hello. Oh, whoa, cool. Hey, look at this. Oh, this thing helps way too much. I love this. Uh, what's over here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A little water, okay. I definitely don't remember coming this way. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. He yoink. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. He ya ha. He ya. Nope, 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 nope. I know you guys love me. I love me too. Don't touch me. This looks promising. I also have no thingy. I gotta get inside a cave, like, right now. Is this a cave? This better be a cave. Uh, oh, a lot of magnetite and stuff here. Cool, okay. Oh, yeah, this place. Whoa. This is cool, okay. Oh, that is just sick. These posters, man. Oh, this is where we need the sample stuff, dang. Can I scan you? Ooh, oh. Frozen Leviathan teeth. I wonder if this could kill all the other Leviathans, like how strong this one is compared. And it's daytime, nice. Okay, so we gotta, this is this is what we needed. Yeah, 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 this is the most important part here. <gasps> oh my God, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 is there water? There's water over here. Oh, is this exactly where I came from before? I guess it was all just connected. Welcome aboard. Use storage can- I can't put them down even though, really? Just before arriving, the plan was simple. Build our newly acquired snow fox, penguin bot, and remote to use them. With day 28 here, I really needed some kyanite and tried my luck at a few pieces near the crystal caves. I wanna see if I can pick up- ooh. Place is already scary, man. <laughs> All right, I wanna see if I can grab some quick kyanite. Just, just don't get too eager. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <gasps> oh, it's right there. We sneak a few pieces of kyanite. I... Trying to keep an eye out and go through this is terrifying. Oh, uh, God. Okay, no, 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 no. If it's not close, I'm not going for it right now. I just, I do not trust myself personally. I also felt it was time we started the next part of the story with Margaret. Let's go say hi. Oh, <gasps> the moon pool too. That's right. Wait, what am I scanning? Oh, there goes the moon pool. I don't know. All right, that little doggy guy's gonna scare us. Or, well, this character. Yup. Mmm. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Today was a day where I had a bit too much fun flying the sea truck. You think we can go over the island? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whoa, we're flying Ooh, over the island. Ooh, no, no, we're good. Cool. <laughs> Holy Jesus. I did manage to pick up some peppers from the trees as I made my way to the bridge. I don't know if that's part of the sea truck right now or if that's actually, I think it's part of the mod, to be honest. I don't feel like I should be, like, I feel that's just too OP, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. We made sure the food went to use, setting up a grow bed and planting more to come. Something I wanted to find back in the spires was the Phi Robotic Labs, the place where my sister worked and something I didn't find until after the Frozen Leviathan. Phi Robotic Center, all right. See if we can find ourselves a landing pad. This is where Sam worked. Hey, hey, okay, there's the, oh, sorry, hover pad. That's what it's called. There we go. Ooh. Sam loved working here with her spy penguins. Do all humans like work? Can we already get this? Oh, there's the map, cool. Glacial Basin map. We are right here. Like I said, I'm not really doing the game again for story content. This is me just having fun and playing it with some mods and on hardcore. Hold on, what was that called? That was called, oh, Nerd Out, one of my favorites. I love it. That's cool. That poster reminded me of like an Overwatch thing. While I figured everything here was done, there was one more secret still hidden in the dark. Okay, there's another, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see portal. <gasps> Can I use this portal? Probably not. It'd be cool if I could, but I can't. 
Well, should only take us just a little bit to get back home. Oh god, I think I broke the game. No, I just went a little far. Holy Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, just a little far. While being back at base, I had a few things to spruce up my place with. So cool. Okay, hold on. What about this one? Hang in there. Alien intruder. Ooh, we got music. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. Oh, I like that. That is terrifying. Holy crap. <laughs> What about this one? I think this was another like Leviathan type deal. Ooh, okay. These are sick. Well, this is my favorite probably. It just shows like a realistic scale of what the game is. It's just absolutely terrifying in such a cool way. Attempting to get my sea truck working once more, I tried. Oh, they don't disappear like the other ones. Here we go. Cool, okay. Wait, maybe a depth module will work now? Okay, uh, sea trip depth two. Can we try? I mean, if it doesn't, you know, it's just kind of. That one, yeah, it's still 150. All right, so yeah, the depth modules just don't work for mods. Finally done with that charade, we picked up the things needed to build the snow fox and the fox pad itself. I also felt like the second large room seemed a bit barren. There we go. That fits it so much better. Um, here and here. So this is office. Oh, I like that. They're automatic doors. Oh, that is nice. Nice office. It's also that time in the video. And if you made it this far, comment Futurama down below. And if you've ever watched the show, who is your favorite character? Me personally, I'd have to choose Zoidberg. Thinking of returning to the spires, I jumped back into my sea truck and took flight. What did we hit? I hit some. I don't like it. Making it to land, I then decided on a place to build the fox jump pad. And, oh, there we go. Okay. Do it right here. Perfect. Uh, can construct. Yeah. Cool. All right. Snow Fox, let's go. Seeing that I wouldn't get across the bridge anytime soon, the next best spot was to find where the snow stalkers live. Yeah, so right up here. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. So we got the hydraulics thingy ma bobber. Wait, where the heck is it? Oh, right here. Oh, <gasps> woo! Oh dang, that hurt. Okay, that hurt. I'm going for it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, don't want it. This next part took way too many tries and a close call to me dying. I wanted that container for curing the bacteria, but the darn stalkers wouldn't leave me alone. Uh, zero, no, uh, eight. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, you're going back. Wait, could I? Oh, no, you're not. Dude, make up your mind. What's our mission? This. Sam must have stashed this here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew that son of a gun was coming for me. Come on, dude. Okay, that actually kind of scared me. I'm gonna die because of this. And I have no med kits. I couldn't believe how close I came to dying and without a second thought, I used my super glide to swim back to base. Double checking and triple checking to make sure I had just enough to get some new med kits going. It was time I started my way back. Back to the pangling. Are you talking about, oh, secret guys, we found secret. <gasps> I'm gonna cut into a secret. Oh, this is kind of cool. And uh, I think I'm good. Oh, just about. Hey, okay. Yep. Oh, a little too high. Okay. All right, we've got flashlight. 
You know what's crazy? If you actually find this early on, there's a lot of magnetite and just ore here. You could literally come to this area. Come to Papa, or, well, I guess, yeah, technically I'm sort of Papa, I don't know. Come here. Realizing now that I could bring my little guy back and try again. Do you think I could, like, pick up those, not pick up the little guys, but, like, take their fur? Oh, there's a big one, there's a big one, there's a big one. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. I need to stay in here, though, because if I go outside, I'm dead. Come to me, baby penguin. Come to me. All right. We've got to go and grab some of this new stalkers. Give me the fall. Ah! No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about the penguin. With that in mind, I flew fast and high to get back home. I can't tell if I'm getting close or not. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. <gasps> too far. Too far. Went a little too far. Oh, my God. See, truck. Oh, my God. Stop place i'm not gonna be swimming much so we'll take the rebreather off for now i really like that that's so cool life pod 5 from subnautica man oh that is just awesome thank you zeta while i was waking up from sleep alan was very curious about our sleeping patterns next thing we did was build ourselves a moon pool parking the prawn suit safely inside time to go i went on to adding an upgrade console so we could change up the look all right, watermelon. Watermelon is back, guys. All right. Uh, which will be green. Watermelon is back, guys. Watermelon. With some time and the canister finally built, my sea truck and I made some headway towards the bridge once more, replacing the old with a new and watching the bridge in awe. I'm back with the new hydraulic system. Ta-da. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. Yo, this fancy as fudge. I'm here. Another great thing I found out was placing beacons on land completely different than in water. Oh, you can do standing beacons. I didn't know that. Whoa. They literally just stay. Oh, that is so cool. Marking the path as we went in further, I started collecting materials lying around to this new device. Thumb for Oh, that would be so nice to have. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Take it nice and slow, nice and slow. I couldn't tell if the noise from the snow fox spawned the worms on me, but I also knew I needed to get away from them. Okay, maybe we gotta go this way. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> get on, get on, go, go, go. There was something out in the distance, a few ladders that started leading me some place I'd never been before. But I didn't do that. I didn't do. Ooh, didn't do it last time. What the heck? This was like ripped in torn. It's like whoa. Whoa! <gasps> Where does this one go to? Oh my God! We gotta find. Oh my God! This is whoa. All right, fine. Oh, it's an elevator. Where does it go? Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Hi? Oh my god, where's this going? Hello? Where are we headed? Hi? Okay, I don't want to put a beacon here. Just be Well, mm, I'm going to put a beacon by the portal, not here. Continuing on from the portal, the snow fox and I met a few more not so nice ice worms. That said, I did happen to find the location of Alan's body cachet part. Doesn't look like I get the uh, the batteries and stuff from here though, which sucks. Cause I really needed them. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, architect component. Did a bit more exploring before returning to the portal. I was hoping to find the secret garden or just stuff I may have missed, but no cigar. Oh yeah, this is the one, because we went up the two and then it was like over there, cool. But here we go, the first portal ever actually that I've done this to, or four. All right, let's see. Do I trust it? Yeah, let's trust it, woo! Okay. Oh. We're going somewhere. We are 
With a hop, skip, and a jump, I started my way back to base. We did happen to have the foods for crafting the cure and with some new music on us as well. What a beat that was. Oh, this one. I've never heard this one before. I'm actually kind of excited. Let's go. What? Yo! Hold on! Wait a minute! Whoa! This is part of Subnautica? No way! This is... Holy crap! What the hell? This is really good! It reminds me of like Eminem, NF... There's just like... Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! What the hell? I love it! Something else I really wanted to finish up was the radio tower. I had everything but the parallel unit. These right here. This is what we need. Parallel processing unit. We need two more. Okay. Come on. Scan, 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 scan. There we go. Okay. We need one more. With only just a single piece left to scan, I would then need another crashed ship. I started a new project with those we collected the other day. Nuclear reactors. Replacing my first bioreactor with a nuclear one, the energy went up so very much. Ooh, dang. Look at that power though. Holy crap. Okay. If I wanted to build more, we needed uranite crystals for more reactor rods, of course. So searching deep below, the scanner room came in quite clutch for just the occasion. With more nuclear reactors built, the base was starting to look so much juicier. I did manage to pick up everything needed for the new depth module. I love it. 1100 meters now. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything in hand, my next destination was the island with the radio tower. All right, let's try this out. Here we go. I mean, it's nighttime, so you can't see so much. All right, testing. Here we go. We turned it off, right? Yeah, we did. There we go. Cool. All right, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure, whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. Looking back at what Margaret said, I had my compass at the ready and pointed in the direction of east. Oh, there it is. Holy crap, that was really nice and fast. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love that quickly climbing up the snow side to the Garden of Eden. Thank you. That's actually going to help me quite a bit. While back at home, we picked up a few pieces of titanium and started planting what I could into grow beds. I then crafted up some of that spicy fruit salad that gave me the best of best food and water. To end the night, I caught a beautiful glimpse of a glow whale and what a sight that was. I got distracted with your big old mouth, buddy. Swimming to deeper depths, I did go on to finding another scannable architect piece. Continued my way back to base in hopes for some Sea Trek upgrades. First thing I checked out was the scanner room module chip. With the chip finally crafted, I wasn't too sure how the thing actually worked. Blaze Sea Trek scanner module HUD chip with distance. I, I have no idea how this works. I've never actually used this before. The next part of my journey took me deep below, a place familiar and yet very calming. Looking for Alan's next body component, I happened to find something what seemed new to me. Look at this thing. You see this? Oh, holy crap, what's happening? What's happening? No, 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 I'm getting drunk. Why am I drunk? Oh, I'm drunk. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where? Back in my prawn suit in which I decided to never leave again, I began going around picking up the glowing spores about. Hey, Sharky Boy's here too. I didn't know. Or, well, I mean, it's been a while, Sharky Boy. Alrighty. Oh god, right. I forgot that happens. Look at this place. Ooh, here we go.
With everything done, we began the climb outside as we jumped from cliff to cliff, working our way up. Parking our pronto into the moon pool, I was apparently getting another call from Alan. Could you imagine Alan's bill by now? Like his phone bill? What do you, what do you think it is? I, it's like this, this guy has just unlimited calling and unlimited data. <laughs> We had quite a bit to store away and on top of that, some really interesting looking creature eggs to hatch. The last thing I did was finish off deconstructing the bioreactors and building nuclear reactors in its place. With those creature eggs in the lockers, the plan was to get them hatching in a few days time. With that out of the question, we would need more room or another level entirely. Is it con- oh, It is! Yeah, it's connected! Okay, um... Seeing that the only way in was a bit tedious, I went on to building another hatch for the compartment. Easy access, you know? Now with that new space, that's exactly where I planted the new alien containment space down. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what these eggs turn into, but I'm curious to see what they, what they are. It's cool, let you guys go finally. See, look at that, I didn't, you know, kill them or anything they're still here now they're just they're just mine <laughs> they're just mine you know so this will be the aquarium place cool while interested in finding more lead where it took me again had me on my toes or well fins oh i died i shouldn't have did that one hold on okay we don't want to die here that will kill me Ooh, i'm right under the fire right under the fire don't want to be under it not like that go 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 Oh, we're finally out. All right, I think we have more than enough for now. Uh, I don't want to do that ever again. Last thing I did was check on my creature eggs and creatures to make sure they didn't hate me. All right, so we got four creature eggs, two of these weird blue things. Um, whatever those those are. Wait, can you see inside? Kinda. I don't know what they are. With my new grapple arm figured out, I started with the materials, benzene and advanced wiring kit. My favorite part in any Subnautica game was the grapple arm. Hold on, we haven't even gotten there yet, buddy. We're still falling. Easy. Uh, ooh, hello. All right, and now I need this, please. Ground sampler. Oh, I got the ion battery. Guys, 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 I got it. The ion battery and the ion paracel. That's what I needed, and that's what I got. We got it, we get it, we got it, we're good. Now for the hard part, getting back home without being noticed by the shrimp leviathan. Nobody likes you, get out of here, you're weird. This place is actually kind of cool. With the new recipes we picked up, production started immediately on those new batteries and power cells. The next day, I felt more like myself, prawn suit at the ready and looking for more pieces of kyanite. Hello, I'm coming down, please don't kill me. I think at this point, you could probably tell I started panicking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. You're lucky. You are so lucky. My heart was racing because I heard something funky. All right. Don't you dare go doing that again, buddy boy. Holy crap. Ooh, hey. What is that noise? Oh, is that something here? Okay. All right, give me the stuff, please. Thank you. It was time we spruced up the sea truck from once a regular old piece of machinery to a now very neon green catapuler. Flying towards the spires, I wanted to check back at the fire robotics lab. Well, we're on land, so you know what? Let's get out. Though I was trying to run from those guys because they were just very, they're so annoying. They just never leave you alone. Is it behind me? Yeah, uh-huh, okay. that keeps them busy for a little bit. I just really want to explore again. Are they by me? I feel like they're right on top of me. What? Oh, maybe something over here. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Okay. Whoa, look at these bones and everything. Holy crap. Ooh, this one's like, this thing is so cool. Whoa, you see this? Look at this! The freaking snow worm! I'm touching your nose! Ooh, God, look at your mouth. Holy God, these guys are way too active now. 
I'm literally getting tossed. What is this, dude? I can't, I can't move. I, I literally... Cool. Oh man, I don't wanna die. I do not wanna die due to the really buggy work on those ice worms. I'm getting out. I am not coming back here ever again. Being completely honest with you guys, I just, I can't afford it. The ice worms really had it out for me. I made sure to check on my little guys to see how they were doing. Look at all my little babies. Look at these guys. We got a fuzzy snow. We got a fuzzy trivalve. Tri trivalve? Got a fuzzy wuzzy. And then, wait, there was a third. Oh, there you. Oh, <laughs> look at this thing. Hi, I know you've got. With our inventory stocked up and flying once more, I was in search of another artifact. I don't think I got this scan for the architect, please. <gasps> oh, okay. All right, it's kind of cool though. I like this. Moving on to the next location, I was back to looking for a frozen Leviathan again. Honey, I'm him. Okay, we made it. We have the, wait, do we have the antidote? I, I think that's good. Oh, wait, no, we're good. A bit of Yes, this is it. Oh, wicked. Cool, okay, here we go. And then it's just as easy as a one, two, three. Well, there you have it, Sam. We finished your work. And for a little bit there, I thought I was just gonna leave it just because I wasn't sure if I wanted to come back here. But I'm glad I did. With our sister's work finally finished, that was the last thing to do on this planet. I made sure to have most of my coordinates turned off just for the clutter. I was also looking through to what I could or still needed to craft. Headlamp, yes, 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 yes. I even had enough to get that large glass dome built over the nuclear reactor floor. Is there something blocking? Maybe, okay. We should be good now. We should be good. Don't you dare. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. You can see inside my face, guys. Oh, isn't she pretty? Oh, look at that. Damn. Damn, Daniel. My inventory looking full on essentials and watermelon at the ready was time. Time to see if I had what it took to explore the void. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I want to try this. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep going, of course, but... This is the void. This has definitely got to be the void. Just to see what's down there, because I've still not seen what's down there. Oh, that pains me. I'm doing hardcore, but man, if I die, oh, it's like 20 something hours gone again. I just, I can't. I spent so much time. I had so much fun doing so many weird, wacky things this one. Still wish there was more mods in this game, but... Turns out when playing on hardcore, there's stuff I can do and other things I will most definitely never ever do. Aside from the void being utterly consumed in darkness and terror, there was another place I had yet explored. Are you in the middle, sir? Sir, I'm coming down. Stay right there. If you're in the middle, just, I mean, don't move. All right, I'm here. Hello. The name is the Ray of Pandas. Double O Panda. And I have found Omega or Omega or Alpha, one of the two. Wow, I already had everything here. Okay. This place is a lot of batteries. With those I collected, the base of ours really started to come together nicely. Pictures and posters about a jukebox with some fantastic choice in music and animals just going about their business inside the place. Something I personally didn't want to worry about was the shadow leviathans trying to eat or kill me. So taking a new way down into the crystal caves, the first of many was spotted. Oh, shiznick. No, 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 no. Leave daddy alone. No, no, no. I'm trying to stay under it because I know it can't grab me then. But when you go in, oh crap, here we go. Oh, wait, I was on your head? What? Hold on, can I just, wait. Oh, I killed it! Oh, when you kill it, they turn into a little baby shrimp and then they're cute AF, oh. What took a little bit longer than expected didn't last much after the first one. Though I did go around picking up extra pieces about from kyanite to uranite. With the next place in my sights and ready to scan the last piece, another shadow leviathan was guarding such a location. Hello! I'm gonna 
kill it. Where'd my fist go? This is really dangerous. He's just eating food too. And nope. Well, this thing is going deep now. God, stop. Woo! Hoy! Doing a drive-by now? I don't like that. What the fudge? Oh, I think I killed it while it was mid-eating me. Oh, eat that, you sorry sack of potatoes. We did manage to kill the beast and dive deeper into the depths below. Ba -ba -ba, I'm falling. I don't want to fall. Hold on. My headlamp. Look at this. Here we go. The last piece to the puzzle. Hello. I was planning on leaving to gather everything we needed, but I wouldn't stop there. The Red Crystal Cavern was our next place of interest, seeing that it housed two more Leviathans, and I'm sure as heck they wouldn't leave me alone. I'm lost, guys. I'm trying to find this crystal cave, but I, I mean, okay, yes, I'm in a crystal cave. I'm trying to find the red crystals. It was supposed to be close to where I found the third piece, but I don't even know how to find that. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. My favorite place of all time. Oh, I got it! Oh my god, okay, thank you, thank you, shrimp boy. Yeah, you're a shrimp boy now, I know. Look at you. Oh, oh my god, I just, I, I saw the color red, and it might have been the crystals, might have been just blood in my eyes, because I haven't closed them in a long time, or maybe because I just don't like you. With both now dead, and my mind put into a little more ease, I started to check what ingredients we would need again to build a body for Alan. Making our way back and climbing through each biome was the easy part. With the enhanced jetpack and grapple arm, the ascent was smooth as butter while going back to base. The next big task was getting all the necessary materials ready to build Alan's body. I was missing a few of those cotton mushrooms and took a little trip back there. Alright, I just need a couple mushrooms. God, if not for like what I have right now, like there's no way I'd be able to do this. Having almost all the required items, lithium was the last piece of the puzzle needed. Everything officially in my inventory, the last part of hardcore and modded Subnautica below was at its end. This time around, the shadow leviathans were all sleeping, so I hadn't anything to worry about. <gasps> wait, wait, no, we found it. Here we go. Woo. Alrighty. It's so weird though. Like, killing off those leviathans that I did, there's still this lingering feeling that something's watching me and is just waiting for the right moment to come out of the dark and swoop down on me. Time was now to finally build the pieces for Alan to be alive once more. Oh man, this is it. This is it. Oh, right, the water. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me when it does not? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. Oh my god, gee, why did that scare me so much? Okay. Ooh. Headed back home, I was messing around with the propulsion arm a bit. Are we good? Fish. Alright, fish. We are best friends. You come with me everywhere I go. Let's go. I will never let go of you. You will never die on my watch. Unless I shoot you into space. Then you may die. But not intentionally. Unintentionally. Just remember that. Oh, I shot the fish. No. Oh, you you wait. Are you okay? <gasps> You're still alive. Good. Okay. No one saw that. Oh, man. You didn't die due to impact of shot. No, no, no. You're still alive. Okay. It was coming to an end. My journey, the adventure we journeyed through, the people we learned about, and the bond we made with Alan. I always love this part. I love space and just things around technology involving that. The two together. Oh. Hey, I'm coming. I said goodbye to everyone and anything and all the things. I think it's time we say goodbye to everyone. Since this will be the last day we spend on this beautiful, gorgeous planet. Or actually 100 days in Subnautica Below Zero Hardcore. Plus modded edition, plus mods. Like, come on, you can't go wrong, right? That said, guys, I honestly can't thank you enough 
I know it's been a long time coming since this video. Literally, people have been asking me for this video for about a month and a half now. I'm sorry it took so long. I love you guys so much for holding out, for being patient with me as much as you could, can, and did. I just, I can't thank you enough, man. Guys, girls, everyone, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Each individual person, that face, that beautiful face. Thank you guys so much. All right, now back to the story. Let's go. I mean, you guys have already seen this, right? But hey, if you haven't, look at this. Woo! That's it. Can't go back. Mwah. Kiss the land. Wait, wasn't there like a big thing? Are we still on the... Oh. Robin, just in time. Phase gate is I will say though, the question that begs is if it's going to be Subnautica based or like if it's going to be an entirely different story game. Like are, the, are we investigating Altera now? Are we like some sort of crew from Altera separate to this? playing alongside you know robin sam's story what like i don't know it's just i'm so excited man for it but now i've got to do this that was close holy smokes where's the other one one two three four five. Oh, hey oh uh, imagine we had these arms in the game like what if we started here what was this was the beginning <laughs> i don't know it'd be cool Ship assembly. Here I come. Woo. Wait, should I be standing here? Oh, God. I don't want to die. I'm coming. Wait, are you? Oh, God. Don't crush me. Here. I'm coming. Ugh. Oh, my God. Ow. Bracing oneself and butt. My butt is braced. Let's go. Okay. Butt cheeks clench. Yep. Yee! It's like watching a, a oh, just a great movie to the end. 